Some of the most darkly optimistic, crazy optimist people on this planet. I don't understand these people. Everything's gonna be great. AI is wonderful. Let's just bring in all the advanced computing and it's gonna make world a wonderful place where we live forever and the machines will do all the work for us. Well, okay, that's a lot of optimism in our social political economic structure, for one. Uh, what we've developed with the robopocalypse, as many people are now calling this massive global automation work, uh, we're seeing it now. We're seeing a scooping out of what was once a middle class, working class, right? So we have an entire massive class of people, not just in the US, not just in Canada, but worldwide, who no longer are employable. These people can't get jobs, all right? In the old days, we would have the owners and the managers at the top of our pyramid, and underneath, 98% would be the worker bees making everything uh, happen so that the people at the top could benefit. Now, cut that worker bees in half. The bottom half are expendables. They're not, they don't have skills anymore for this modern economy. They're never gonna get a job, all right? So what will happen to these people? And that class, get higher and higher. So the AI people are talking about uh, things like universal basic income. This is their panacea. Okay, it's economically never going to happen, totally impossible. And if it were to happen, it would be worse because it would basically mean if you get your income from the end, I'll tell you right now, you are totally controlled by that government. You have no say goodbye to any last vestige of freedom that you ever thought you had. So thanks, AI guys, for promoting universal basic income. But the problem is they rightly can't see any other, right? Because what's happening is that the automation that is upon us, no one can stop this. No one can stop this, all right? Bill Joy 20 years ago with Sun Microsystem brought on the alarms. Now we have Elon Musk saying basically the same thing. They're not gonna stop it, all right? This train, there's a track and it's going down this way and there's nothing that's gonna stop that train from getting to the end of it. Wherever that destination is, so what that track is taking us to is a world where people are no longer going to be necessary for the economics of, this, of society, or at least many people. And what will be done with all of those people, the ones that Henry Kissinger once referred to as useless eaters, is anyone's guess. You've got a lot of people getting a little concerned about this. Will they try to wipe us out? Will they put us into the FEMA camps? Will they uh, simply have us zoning out with minimal welfare on video games and drugs, legal and illegal? Uh, getting fat, getting uh, dumb, and just watching reruns of Three's Company for the rest of all time. Your guess is as good as mine. I think that's probably where we're going. A world in which the population is being totally controlled because they have to be, because otherwise you have a restless, population that, God forbid, they start thinking for themselves, which is what they're going to do if you give them tools. So you have to dumb down the education system, dumb down food, give them awful nutrition, uh, awful entertainment, awful news, and create basically a virtually fake society, fake world that they're living in that keeps them just happy enough to keep going into this awful dystopia that they're moving toward, and, and certainly dumb enough to keep moving along and accepting all of this. That's, that's really where we're going. Now, the thing about this is, is that this is a fulfillment of the Christian 